So I just bought the base model Mac Mini and I decided to do this quick video because I couldn't see anyone else addressing online. So the question I'm trying to answer is can the new Mac Mini M4 run GPTs locally? And if it can, uh, what is the maximum size? So I will try to run each of these uh, sizes and see uh, how it performs. So uh, uh, long story short, it can run up to 7 gigs. I managed to get to the 39 gig running, but it was painfully slow. But uh, yeah, let's get to the video. I'm uh, just going to unbox this real quick. Okay, so let's turn it on for the first time. Okay, so I just uh, logged in. Now I'm going to install uh, Llama. So now Olama is installed, I'm going to install the command line. Llama is installed, so I'm going to pull uh, Llama 3. I have uh, Olama installed and I have the 8 billion parameters and the 2 billion parameters I believe. So let's let's uh, let's run this guy. Okay, so we write the check in the beanstalk story, but for a modern day text target. As you can see, it's generating tests quite fast, um, but I got the similar result with my old Intel laptop, so this is not a huge surprise. I've also created a small uh, script here to help benchmark, so I'll show you guys how it looks like. So it basically calls Olama with the same prompt, and it grabs the number of words and the time it takes to generate these words. So hopefully you can uh, do the same test with well, the same prompt for the the four models that uh, or the three models that are available here. So we just did for the eight billion. Let's try the seventy and the four hundred and five. Let's see how it how it goes. Uh, got the eight billion here ready. Also have the activity monitor and the CPU. So at the moment it's not using swap but it is using about 9 gigs of RAM so let's see how this goes you can see here memory are ramping up about 13 right now what about CPU? CPU is not really making a dent so it's just RAM sounds like what about disk? yeah we're not hitting swap so there's nothing on disk Okay, so we got uh, about 15 words per second, okay, which is uh, pretty good for most cases, I think. Uh, let's try the next model. So one, one hour later, I've downloaded the 70 billion model, which is about 39 gigs. Uh, and uh, let's, let's see how it goes. Uh, CPUs, I can see a, a bit of activity. Let's check memory. Oh, yeah. So, memory, uh, I did show, but you, it, you were at 7 gigs before and zero swap, and it's now uh, has gone to 16 and it's taking 16 of swap. So, okay, which is a little bit expected. So, I, I think it, this. Uh, Llama tries to load the entire model in, in memory, if I'm not mistaken. So we have used all of the... Anyway, so we're using 30 gigs of swap, plus about 10, I would have guessed, in uh, in RAM. And we're going to... Okay. The... Let's 
let's see how that goes. Well, taking a bit of time. CPU is going, it's not really bound by CPU, it looks like. It's mostly on memory. But once the initial memory is allocated, it doesn't ask for more. Well, let's look at disk. Yep, we are seeing some activity here on disk. This is well under the the capacity of the SSD. I've seen uh, and I've I've done some uh, speed tests. I, I I managed to get uh, two thousand megabytes per second reads, and no, that's that's three thousand reads and two thousand writes. Uh, okay, uh, but still doesn't explain why it takes. Uh, it takes a bit of time. Yeah, I would have guessed that it's the swap, right? Because if you are uh, uh, doing uh, round trips from the M4 chip to to SSD, then we are limited by by bandwidth. That was that was very different story when running the the seven billion model. Wow, we got one word. <laughs> okay, I see how this is. Okay. I must be doing something wrong because I've seen. Other people online running the 39 gig on their Mac minis. I'm not sure if it was the base model or not. Uh, yeah, because if you had 36 gigs, let's say the OS takes like eight. So we had like 24 gigs for ourselves. We would be taking less of us of this on swap. But even then, yeah. Anyways, so these are my findings, guys. Uh, I'm not trying to optimize it in any ways. I just, I literally hooked this up and I, I did install some apps, namely the, the, disk, uh, the disk utility app. And I also, I have QuickTime running here and I have some, some Safari with like four tabs. Other than that, that's it. Like it's a fresh, it's a brand new machine with, with pretty much, yeah, pretty much brand new. And uh, these are the results that I'm getting. Okay, so I was about I was trying to or planning to run the this the larger model here, but I don't think I'm going going to do that because even the seven billion seems a little impractical. But uh, yeah, let me know if you have any comments. If uh, I'm probably doing something wrong, so feel free to leave a comment. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.